Hi, everybody. What's up? You get Jensen and Lindsay today and June. And Paige is here, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Spilling chips on Spilling Jensen's couch. Hey, we're good. Okay, you got him. Good job. You come sit. She's going to be watching Little Mermaid behind the camera, so. Oh, perfect oh. spot. You want to sit hey. in the middle? This is a perfect segue okay. of how today's video is going. <laughs> we are chatting about postpartum. Well, I'm going to tell you about postpartum period and how things are going this time around and how life is with two kids because it's definitely different. So look at you. You have literally I two know, kids right my, here. These are my girls. They're your little girlies. It's the best. <laughs> Um, I am currently five and a half weeks postpartum. I feel like I recovered quicker this time around. I don't know if it's because I knew what to expect. Um, well, I feel like you told me too in the hospital, you're not as like scared to do things. Oh yeah. Like, like the first time around you were like nervous to stand up straight, like with your incision and yeah. everything. And now you're like, like, I think I knew what to expect. And I also trusted myself a little bit more. Like when things really hurt, I was like, it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Oh. But yeah, I think just overall, I've known what to expect, and it just has made it a little bit easier. <laughs> I guess my heart. No. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like I'm, I don't know. I feel like the biggest thing so far that's been helping me is just like having a routine that I stick to, which in the beginning, like the first couple weeks was just like a joke. There was this is a struggle, but it's good. It's good representation of life with two because it's crazy. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, it's like a routine kind of helps. And not to say I have a solid routine because every day is definitely different. But I feel like my morning is very important. I'm lucky that Sage kind of sleeps in. Like yeah. some days she'll sleep till like 8.45, 9, which is sleeping in for a lot of kids. So yeah. I, it's really just me in June, which most days I just sit in bed and cuddle her all morning. But I've started to kind of develop a couple things that like help me get the day going a little bit better. So here are my things that I'm doing that have helped me. First things first, I am so proud of myself, but I am going on a solid month of not missing a morning drinking my AG1. Um, the best. First of all, thanks to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Yes. We shared about them a couple Last weeks month? ago. Yeah, yeah, a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago, but this has been something like I've had AG1 at my home. I've drank it. I've like been here and there, but I have been so consistent for the past like I think it's been a solid month where I haven't missed a single day. Where sometimes before it's like I'd drink it a couple days a week, but then I'd forget a day. But I've been really, really adamant about trying to stay on top of it. And I have been, and it's been so awesome. And it's been really cool because I've actually been able to see so like many benefits. benefits. Yeah. Like with consistency, you see such great benefits. No, and it's so awesome. I feel like we have like the whole family hooked on it. Yes, we do. Topher's obsessed with AG1. He drinks it every morning. I got to get Sam on it. He still is. Topher's like a, like a proud, like he tells all his friends. Like, oh my God. You need to be on this. Here's my two things that I've noticed that have helped so much. Digestion. And 100%. like gut health has been so improved and postpartum period with that can be so rough. So yeah. And I've noticed such a much more regular schedule for me. That's it's been awesome. pleasant. It hasn't been miserable. So that's one. And then two is my energy level and my focus. Like considering that I'm sleeping, not at all. And like, I'm I feel running like you around. literally don't even act like you're tired. I, I genuinely feel like I have such a good amount of energy. Like, yes, of course I'm still tired. I'm not going to say that like, I'm not tired, but I've noticed like my focus and my energy has been so much better and so much more consistent. Scary. It scared you. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. So silly. Oh, oh. Um, so those are my two things that I've noticed that have been No, huge. I feel like the same thing. Digestion, it's never been better. Same yeah. thing with Tover. He had, he just was never regular. 
He had some issues, and this has literally... Let's expose Topher. Let's expose Topher. Yeah, crazy guy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Michael. Actually, probably not. No, he, he just... Backed up. He was just... Yeah, like he didn't have like a regular daily poop. <laughs> <laughs> and now that he is, he's like, this is life-changing, yeah, literally. It's amazing. Um, I'm actually going to go make my drink now. And so I haven't had mine you. today either. We'll show you how we make it and talk a little bit more about it. I'm about to whip up my AG1. I love it because AG1 is made with the highest quality ingredients. And what I love, like I said, is it's so easy to just make part of your everyday routine, such a good daily habit to add in. Um, I'm gonna pop 10 ounces of water in here and then one scoop of this. And then you gotta add ice, that is also a key. You have to have the ice, so let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Now we shake it up, and we're gonna add that ice in and chug. Honestly, it is so good. I like crave it every single morning. It is so yummy. Okay, and then also they have these incredible travel packs, which makes it so easy to stay consistent if you're on the go, which is literally the reason why I feel like I've been able to be so consistent is because anytime I'm going somewhere, I just bring those with me. Okay, you guys, go to drinkag1.com slash Arnold Sisters to get started on your order. AG1 is going to give all of you guys an incredible, awesome thing with your purchase. You're gonna get the AG1 vitamin D3 plus K2 um, drops. So good to add in. And then also five of those travel packs. So take advantage of this awesome little perk that you're getting and start your order now. Well, thanks to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to chatting about postpartum. Here we go. Okay, so what else? Okay, so let's go back. Well, let's five and a half weeks postpartum. I feel like I recovered much quicker. I feel like there was a lot of things that I did with my first C-section, but I just did them more confidently this time, like walking as soon as I could after, um, after surgery. Um, and then honestly staying pretty active. Like I feel like. And two, that's probably so much different this round because you're like chasing around a yes, toddler. Yes, that's the thing. I didn't have a choice but to be active, but I honestly think it helped me so much. Like getting up and moving, not just sitting on the couch for hours at a time, which I kind of wanted to do. Yeah. But I couldn't. And I feel like now I'm not trying to say like, I don't want to put out there like you should be crazy active because sometimes that can backfire. Like there were definitely days where I was like, ooh, I did too much. I need a rest. But I think it was just good for me to not be, like, still for too long of periods of time. So that was helpful, and I'm feeling good. Like, I I am going to wait. I honestly almost went and worked out this morning. I just was no like, way. screw it. Because I feel good. Like, I yeah. do feel good. I mean, my abs still need some work, but I'm grateful that, like, I kind of know what I need to do with that. Yeah. Um, I know how to kind of get back into that. So it's like, even if I went to workout class, I would just like trust you what I, know. I would just do what I did as far as like abs and everything. Yeah. But I feel good. Like I'm ready to go. I have my six week next week. So I'll definitely, I'll still wait, crazy. but I feel good. So good. I'm very happy about that. Um, as far as like what, what's different this time around, would you say? Different? Obviously you have another kid. Different is that you don't, the newborn phase is, oh, thank you. Can you me my phone? Thank you, thank sweetheart. You. Oh, you're the sweetest sage. What's different this time with the newborn phase is that you have a toddler. And there's yeah. so many awesome, fun things about it, though. Like, I think the biggest thing is, difference-wise, is, like, with a newborn, I feel so much more confident. I'm not as stressed. It feels way easier. And I'm sure emotionally you just feel better. Yes. Like, emotionally, I'm not as much of a wreck. I'm not as stressed. I'm not as anxious. Even though I'm not sleeping, like, here's the thing. She is a fine sleeper. Like, she's not incredible or anything. She's probably about the same as Sage was, but I feel significantly less tired this time around. Because you just have done it. Yeah, I think. You know I just how like, it is. Yeah. Your mom's strength is even, like, stronger. Well, and I think it's just the knowledge knowing that I'm like, this isn't going to last forever. Yeah, yeah. Like, with Sage, it's scary. You're sitting there like, am I ever going to sleep again? Like, actually, will I ever sleep through the night again? And, like, yes, you will. So I'm not as, like, anxious when she has a bad night because so I'm like, it'll be fine. And also, like, goes. that too, like, I know that there can be really bad nights and really good nights. And there can be really bad days and good days. So, like, when a bad day happens, I don't get as stressed. Like, oh, my gosh, I'm Something's doing something wrong. wrong. Yeah. Like, it's just like, this is just a day. We'll try again tomorrow. Totally. So, I feel like the ease of, like, the newborn phase is just, it just feels easier. Because I'm not as, I just feel like I know what I'm doing. So, that's nice. And then it is a little bit harder because, and maybe not harder, but just, like, you don't get to, like, really enjoy it as much. 
Meaning, not like you don't enjoy it, but I don't get to sit on the couch and cuddle my newborn while she sleeps for three hours because I'm taking care of a toddler. Yeah. So, like, there's little things that, like, you'll never get to do again because it's, like, your first, it's all their attention's on them. And but with your second, you and them, yeah. With your second, it's a little bit different. But it's fine. It's not like I don't enjoy it. And honestly, I'm glad that we're moving around and doing stuff. I think the biggest thing to get you through newborn in a toddler phase is to keep yourself as busy as you can. That's been for us. Like, get out of the house. Even though sometimes it feels... A little crazy. <laughs> yeah. It come here. I have to tell we have to tell everybody a story. We have to tell everybody a story. Okay, do you want your chips? Oh, okay, you can go in the castle. Okay, love you. Um, but yeah, just like getting out of the house, even though sometimes that feels kind of crazy. It's too. better than sitting at home with a newborn. And, and it's kinda like you have to get out of the house because it's like Sage has things you have to go to. Yeah. Yeah, we can't just, like, chill. Like, no, there's I, stuff going even on. Even with Brooks, like, getting out of the house was, like, the best thing I yeah. ever did postpartum It's also different because this is, I have a sum, like, I think, too, summer baby if it were winter, best. we wouldn't be getting out of the house as much. Like, I'm really glad that I have a summer baby with a toddler. It's so, because like I mean, I haven't there's so much to do. But I feel like it's just so nice because, yeah, we went for walks. Yeah. Because in the winter, yeah, you just feel, like, cooped up. Should have a binky. That's the biggest difference is, like, less stress, less anxiety. You know what you're doing. Way more busy <laughs> keeping track of two kids. Uh, no, no, no. Leave it on, okay? <laughs> it's a lot harder to get things done. I will say that because I can set her down somewhere, but I can't set her down anywhere with her staying. <laughs> but um, she's been really, really good, though. Sage has been so good with June. She's so She's cute. so nice to her, so sweet to her. But and she was so nice to Brooks and Quincy. Yeah, she I'm was like, really good. I wasn't... But too, it's like it's her own sibling that's taking time away, you know? Yeah, I was never really worried that she was going to be nice and good with the baby. I was just worried she was going to be like weird with me, which she's like really good. Like honestly, no, considering she's, she's so, so well. good. She's so good. Like there's days where she has moments, but she's a toddler. So it's like she would have those even if June wasn't here. Yeah. But she does really good. So yeah, um, I'm trying to think what else. What's one thing you've done different with June that you did with Sage? Um, different? Night times are so different with June than they are with Sage. I feel like with Sage, every time she peeped, I would wake up. I was alert. I was yeah. stressed. I changed her diaper like six times every night. Um, I never brought her in bed with me, ever. Which, I'm probably going to get people shaming me, but a lot of that I do with June. I don't change June's diaper all night, every night. I probably change it once, which... If it's not, like, if I don't hear her actively, like, if I don't hear a big poop, then I'm not going to change it. Like, I'm not going to wake her up and change it. But I feel like with Sage, I was so stressed. I was like, I have to, even if she pees a little bit, I have to change it. Yeah. And I'm letting it ride a little bit I longer. I saw this, like, TikTok, and it was like, um, different things I'm doing the second time around. Letting that line on the diaper go all, all the, the way, way blue. blue. Yeah. <laughs> yep. If it's a little blue, I'm like, eh, it's fine. It's so funny. Cause so, it's so true. But it's like, because... They're fine. And no, waking fine. them up to change their diaper in the middle of the night was always the worst because you have to rock them back to sleep. Well, you're um, waking them up and you'd yeah. rather them be sleeping. Yeah. I mean, if it's bothering them, then you do it. But if it's like... Yeah. So that and then also like I, in the morning when she gets sad, she's kind of fussy the, in the morning. But yeah, so like I will let her come in and cuddle in bed with me. Um, which with Sage, I didn't do that for a long time. Also, we put Sage in her room at six weeks, and I feel like that's approaching. That's in, like, a week, and that, I don't know if I'm going to be ready for that yet. You did six I know. Weeks. But now that I'm thinking about it, Sage was a better sleeper. Because I think the reason uh, we did that is because she was only waking up, like, once, but we would wake up because she was super noisy. No, it's just so much easier when they wake yeah. up multiple times to just, like, grab them yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, so that's kind of the most different things. I think, like, different is just the way I react to yeah. everything. Like, well, she's crying. Like, if she's crying, like, not to say I don't get her, but it's not like I'm, like, <gasps> anxious. <laughs> like, if yeah. she cries in the car, like, I remember with Sage, she she cried in the car one time so hard, like, the very first time. And I, like, pulled over on the side of the road and, like, got out and, like, had to, like, Consult. give it. Yeah. But, like, now it's, like, I feel like I'm not as stressed about the little things because I know that she's okay. So, yeah, as far as, like, routine goes, I'm not going to call it a routine, but I feel like there's, like, things that I try to check off every day that, like, make me feel like a human. Um, one is drinking my AG1 in the morning. Um, it's also important because I, a lot of times, forget to eat breakfast or forget to even put anything inside of my body because I feed June, then I feed Sage, then we get them dressed, and I'm never just, like, sitting down eating my breakfast. So, I've been trying to be better about making sure I eat something in the morning, especially because I'm breastfeeding, so I want to stay on top of that. Um, 
try to get out and do something at least once a day. Try, like, even though I can't lay down with June as much and cuddle her as often, I try to do, like, at least 30 minutes a day. So, like, when Sage is napping, like, I'll get work done and do things, but then, like, I try to, like, give myself, like, 30 minutes where I can just sit with her and just chill. Yeah. Um, and then same with Sage. Like, I'm trying. This is new because I feel like in the beginning, I, it was just, I always had June on me and then I would just hang out with Sage, too. But, like, I'm trying to, like. I'm still not yet. Not yet. Trying to have like at least a little bit of time every day with Sage where like I'm just with her. So yeah, like put June like down and go oh, play Sage, with her. Sage, don't go up there. Stay right there, okay? Yeah, I see you. So yeah, those are kind of some things I'm trying to do. I'm sure as I get more further out of postpartum and not in the newborn phase, I'll have some more. Well, yeah, um, and two, you might like start working out. So yeah, like yes, I want to. Routine. I know. And, like, I'm like, I don't even know when I'm gonna do that. That was like the best thing for me too. Was oh, just, I'm like, so excited to work out. Going back to work out. Because it was just like time for yourself. Yeah. You stay right here. I don't think you. Should we check if he's awake? Come here. Come look on the camera. But yeah, so overall, it's been really good and. No, you've literally handled it like a pro. Now I think that I can have two kids. Thank you. That's nice. Anybody it's can do it. I would say that going from one to two is less stressful How's because you right? you're already like not in yet. the kid mode. You Sage, know? not yet. Not yet, baby. Not yet. I don't know. It's been good. And I was telling Jen, so I'm like, I feel like everybody freaks you out. Like, oh, just wait. Two is so hard. And like, yeah, it's harder. Can we just canceled the just wait I statement. Know, I hate that. Statement. So it's so annoying. Moms don't need to Sage, hear. Don't go up there. Just wait for this. It's like they're already stressed enough. We don't need to be like preparing okay. them for the future. Okay. Shh. Come Sorry. here. Sorry. Okay. Just like preparing them for like, night. Like, just be positive and be like. Oh, it's the best thing, you know? Even if it does suck, wait for them to come to but you. But it was kind of helpful like, to be prepared for the absolute worst because it hasn't I guess been there's that, that too, but so like... Part of it makes you tough. Let's just... Oh, hi, me girl. Brooks or Sage, come here. But yeah, that's kind of... How's like breastfeeding this time around? It's easier? great. Um, I feel like Sage was very easy, so it feels exactly the same. Yeah. Like I never really... Had a hard time with it. No. Yeah. So yeah, it feels good. I feel I feel good. I don't think she's hungry though. I just wanted to be sweet. Say. So yeah, that's kind of it. Um, I can't think of anything else. I know. It's been good though, and I'm yeah, I'm happy. Good. So we do. She seem happy, and my girls. Yeah, like I feel like you're doing so good at handling it so well. That it literally Thank makes you. me be like, oh, I can do it too. But you then can. I sit and I'm like, no, oh, you can. Oh. Like, that's the thing is you just do it. Like, you just I know. do it. I you mean, it's not, it I'm not going to lie and say it's like easy. Like, definitely no. one is easier. Yeah. But like, it's, it works and you just go for it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go check out AG1. Go to the link in our description. And yeah, have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye.